Welcome to Voodoo Whiskey Gaming, and I'd like to apologize first off for missing the last two Saturday videos. There are a couple reasons, partly technical issues, my computer was on the fritz, and editing the videos that I did edit was a real pain in the ass. And admittedly, I was kind of low on topics, so I'm trying to work out some other ideas for Saturday videos, so we'll see where that goes. Now on to the actual review, and this time it's not actually a late review. I am reviewing the game the same day it came out. I've actually gotten to sink some time into it, and admittedly it's not actually a full game. Today is the release of Trials Fusion's expansion. So I'll be reviewing Trials Fusion Awesome Level Max. So there is sort of a story to about less than half of the content, I'd say, and you somehow turn into a cat with a gun. Riding a fire-breathing unicorn. Yeah. Okay, that sounds incredibly ridiculous, and it is incredibly ridiculous, but in a really awesome way, in my opinion. What can I say? I like that kind of wacky out there humor. In this game, you're trying to resurrect some cat warriors to defeat some kind of evil, and you have to do it while riding a unicorn on Trials courses. But let's face it, story isn't really something that the Trials games are known for, so bleh, at the end of the day. And there really isn't any voiceover work, or at least none that I could really hear, so nothing to really report on there, I guess. Now, as for the content, since this is an add-on slash expansion, whatever you want to call it, there are 30 new racetracks. 22 of the maps were designed by Red Links and the best content creators in the Trials community, apparently. And in reality... A lot of those maps were really good. I do disagree with a few. There's one that's marked easy. I personally didn't find it easy. And I'm generally an okay player. Pretty good. Easy maps are generally easy to me. Medium maps are generally more challenging and hard. Oh god, I generally just do awful at. That having been said, the maps do add more replay value to a game that is already really all about the replay value. Because you're always trying to do better. Even if you've done well, you want to get that gold. You just keep trying to do better. On those maps, the controls are the same because you're using the bikes that you're used to. Now, as for the part that had a bit of a story where you actually ride the unicorn, yeah. And like I said earlier, I'm not an amazing player at this game, but I do enjoy it and I've played quite a bit of it. So I feel that I have a pretty good sense of what I'm supposed to be doing and the horse just didn't always cooperate. And by horse, I should say magical horse because it's a unicorn. But that didn't really alter the annoyance of controlling the horse, and often feeling like it was more luck than skill. As for the graphics, well, it looks exactly like Trials Fusion did, just new maps. The Trials games have always been about killing time, and admittedly, I think they'd make better mobile games. I mean, I played it a bit on the Vita, but I think just Trials should be focusing on mobile. But hey, they're not. This expansion definitely adds content and replayability, allowing you to kill more time. The awesome level max add-on was only $10, and for the content that it adds, I definitely think it was worth it, but that's me as a fan. If I had never played Trials before, I don't think playing this would make me go, oh my gosh, I must play these games. I mean, if you're a Trials fan, it's definitely worth the 10 bucks. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button, and if you like what I'm doing in general, subscribe. Have a good one.